how can I get an action or some code to run on an interval in Microsoft Access? I'm your host, John McKenzie, and today we're going to talk about form timers. And form timers are very, very handy. They are the way that you can get your code to run, you know, every three seconds or every 10 seconds. And uh, form timers are very closely uh, connected to Microsoft Access forms. And so, uh, without further ado, let's get to our timers in Microsoft Access. Looking for help with coaching on your project? Make sure to check out my Patreon. The link is in the description. Okay, so kind of a fun topic today. Uh, we're going to take a look at uh, form timers, which is basically the way that you can do timers in Microsoft Access. Uh, we're using the same file we've been using and we're going to go to the create ribbon and then choose a form. We'll choose form design and then I'll just save this here to get us started. Um, and uh, so there we go, got our, uh, I'll call it timer form. And uh, now form timers are, like I said, they're closely connected to the form. So they're kind of part of the form object in, in access and, um, and so what we'll do is we'll drop, uh, we'll drop a text box onto our uh, form here, and I'll just call it the number. And so I guess what we'll do is we'll, we'll create a number that increments every so many seconds, and then it shows on the form here. And then we'll change, maybe we'll change the color of the background of the form every so many seconds. And so that way you can see how this can be done. And so we'll give our our uh, form control a name. Uh, I'm going to call that uh, txt oh, number. I spelled it wrong here. txt number in the other tab, and uh, and then you can see there is our text box on the form, and that will increment with a number in it. And we're going to run some code that's going to run every few seconds in order to do that. Now first what we'll do is uh, we're going to look at the form properties. Now you can choose it in the drop down here and go to form properties or you can click outside of the form in the gray area and that'll also switch to the form properties uh, selection of the form itself. And so from here we can go and take a look at our event tab and if you scroll way down on our event tab you'll notice there's two events or two uh, attributes. One is uh, uh, on timer and that's going to give us a chance to make a procedure and the other one is the interval that we will use uh, to say how how many seconds or milliseconds uh, in between each run this happens. And so we'll select the ellipsis here that you can see on the far right and then we'll choose the code builder and I double click there and then that's going to open up our Visual Basic uh, code window and we can get started. And what we can do here is I'll put a little comment at the top of the code, um, handles the timer event for this form, and uh, I'll create a variable for, the, for return value. Um, and then what I'll do is I'm going to set the value for that equal to, and I'm going to use NZ here which is the same as coalesce in SQL, which means uh, get me the value out of that text box, uh, but if it's null, or in other words, there's nothing in there, then give me a zero instead. And so that's going to populate our return value there, and it's going to put the number from the text box, uh, the one here that we created, it's going to put the number uh, from the text box into the uh, into that uh, var ret file and it'll put a zero in if there's nothing in in the text box which is where it will start and then we can go and uh, I'm gonna create a, a long integer uh, for our number which is actually gonna be sort of like the number that is you know each time the timer goes it's gonna have this number and we're gonna set it to you know our return value plus one so if it's zero, then our number will be one. If it's one, then it's going to switch to two, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, as long as the form is open and the timer is running, it will run until you actually, you know, get over the two, two point whatever billion 
uh, that you know number that can be stored in a long integer in VBA. Um, and so what we'll do is we'll say if our number is uh, uh, modulus of 2 is, is equal to 0, meaning there's no remainder, um, then do this. Otherwise, we're going to do something else. So if it's an even number, basically, that's the meaning of that. If it's an even number, then let's set the uh, back color uh, equal to green, otherwise uh, set it to blue, say. And so I can't remember the exact numbers for those colors, so I'll just use the, the uh, enumerated uh, type there, VB green and VB blue. Um, and so that's pretty simple. It's going to set the back color of the, of the detail equal to green if it's even, otherwise it'll set it to blue, and so it should alternate colors. And as a last step, what we'll do is we'll, we'll take that text box and we're going to set it to the number that we calculated um, for uh, the number. And so each time this uh, form timer goes, it's going to get the value out of the text box and then it's going to increment it by one. And then if that number is even, uh, then it will um, make it green, otherwise it will make it blue. All right, so from there we can minimize our uh, our code window. I'll do a debug compile just for good measure. Now we also need to go and set the second setting that I showed you before, which is the uh, the timer, um, the milliseconds in between uh, each run of the timer. And so we'll go back to our form properties just like we did before. And we're going to go to that timer. You can see our procedure is now loaded in there, but our timer interval is set to zero, which means uh, never to run. Um, and we need to set that to milliseconds, so it'll be a thousand for you know one second in between each. Uh, if we wanted two thousand, we could put or two seconds, we put two thousand, or ten seconds, we'll put ten thousand. Um, and if we wanted one minute, of course, we would put in sixty thousand. And, uh, but I guess for our demonstration here to start, I'll, I'll make the timer run every two seconds, and that is going to give us a nice result, I think. Um, I'll save it, and then I'll go to the form view, and there we go. So you can see now, you can see it's incrementing the number every two seconds, but it is also changing the background of the detail. Uh, to another color. And so this is a nice thing about form uh, timers is that you can kick off you know just about anything that you want. Um, uh, I would add the caveat that you should probably uh, you know minimize the amount of things that happen during a, a timer event in case they spill over into sort of other things or they start uh, they can interfere with user behavior or user data entry and things like that. Um, and, uh, you know, just be careful. Use them sparingly and, and when they need to be run. Um, and one of the things you can do, I changed this to go every five seconds now. Uh, so you can see it's changing every five seconds. But one of the things that you can do is you can have a form open and then uh, set itself to visible equals false so that it disappears in your program, but it has a timer running to perform some action in the background. Looking to hire programmers for your project? Make sure to check out the additional links in the description. Hope you enjoyed today's discussion on how to use form timers in Microsoft Access. Have a great day, have a safe day, and I'll catch you next time.